Morning, what a perk of the job we have here on 3 Plus U when Texas Roadhouse is here to kick off the show with us. Dan Werner, Patty, pronounce your last name for me? Solano. Solano, here from the Texas Roadhouse, getting us ready for a fun eating any time of the year, but Labor Day not too far away. Coming We're talking over. some Labor Day dine-in, right? Yes, we've got, we brought you some uh, platters that we do. It, uh, these are some of the most popular items that the guest orders. Um, of course, our fall off the bone ribs. Well, it's no reason and no surprise that these are the popular ones, and you're going to let me sample. Yes. And this morning, I'm going to happily uh, uh, comply with that request. But talk about what makes your menu so different, because every th everything that you see here, including the croutons, if I'm not mistaken, correct. are handmade at the restaurant. Everything is handmade. Um, we have a butcher in the back that hand cuts all the steaks. This is a 16-ounce ribeye that I brought you, but we can cut any size ribeye that you want. Don't you have some people who will come in, and Patty, you can jump in too, if I, I'm not meaning to leave you out, and they'll want even a bigger steak than what you have on the menu, correct? Yes, we've had some people order a 26-ounce steak. They're hungry. <laughs> and they've eaten it all, including the sides. I'm going to... You know, you never know on live television how things are going to work out. You can't tell what we're kind of shooing away here, but it's a little bee, right? And that's what we're uh, we're promoting this year. We are, are saving the bees. So when you go in, Texas Roadhouse, one of the things that they're known for besides the cooking is their give back to the community. You'll see them a lot at charitable events, kind of helping to feed golfers and that type of thing. So this is um, going to the Bee Conservancy, right, Dan? Yes, it is. We have a couple different drinks on there that you can come in and we'll donate a dollar for every drink that you buy. And we're doing this company wide, um, about 600 stores, uh, and all the money goes to the Bee Conservatory. And if that's not making a lot of sense to you, there is a real concern with honeybees. Absolutely. Uh, and the population, and if we don't have the honeybees, then we can't um, pollinate all the pollinate, <laughs> correct. Okay, let's talk about what you're going to enjoy when you come in to eat. So you've got the ribeye, yes, correct? We've got all kinds of different steaks, ribeyes, fillets, strips. And they're all hand cut. We can do different sizes if you like. Okay, now this, this is the fall off the bone ribs, but what is in this one? That is the pulled pork that we do. It's okay. a pretty popular item. Uh, and I'll tell you what's really good with that is you take some of those homemade rolls and, and build you a sandwich out of pulled pork slider, we call them, out of those. I uh, have been a big fan for a long time of your boneless chicken wings. Those yes. are really good. Well, those are hand breaded, um, hand cut, hand breaded. Uh, I sell a lot of those, um, and we can do them in any size you want. Um, every day we make fresh green beans. Those look we start great. with uh, with bacon bits and onions, and uh, same thing with the rice. We we've got onions and. Uh, fresh parsley in there. I made the comment that you know folks can dine in and enjoy, but you also do catering. We do catering and curbside pickup. Catering I typically um, do during the week because we're only open for dinner. We open at three o'clock, three to nine, Monday through Thursday. So we're there cooking all day, so I can cater during the week. The weekends, as you know, are pretty busy, so I don't do a lot of catering on the weekends, but I do have curbside pickup. Okay, so let's say you wanted to be out on the boat one last fun uh, weekend for yep. summer, right? Yes. And you want to take some good food out to have with your for your friends and family. You can put the order in and pick it up and then take it on the boat? That's right. We have an app. I think we've got a, you'll probably have it on your site. We do have we, it in the front. So, so the app, you download the app and you can either get on the, the waiting list like we've talked about before, right. or you can order food to go. I do the food to go. That's, That's right. Yeah. So you can order that and then just pull in front of the restaurant and we'll bring it out curbside. Okay, so a couple of years ago, I guess it was, we did um, Super Bowl weekend. We came in and got some food and my kids still think that was the best thing and it was the ribs yep. that they fell in love with. So well, look, you kindly look, have given me a fork. I have. The ribs are a three-day process uh, to make them fall off the bone. As you can see, they just, with that fork, they just there was no effort here. That's right. They're just the right crispy. You can take your fork and just run them down each each rib bone. I like to get my hands in them and have barbecue sauce all over Damn, them. Damn, that's some kind of good. It is really good. I think it's probably some of the best ribs of, of all of the smokehouses as well. Well, you know, sometimes you'll bite into a rib and there's the flavor's good, but there's not any meat there really. Yep. Yep. There's a lot to, to digest, if you will. I mean, there's a lot to chew and savor. It's really good, Patty. It is. There's a lot of meat in there and they do fall off the bone, 
literally fall off the bottom. And it's a three-day process. Three-day process. Okay, um, I can't not talk about some of the sides that you brought because you can enjoy Texas Roadhouse all the time in your own kitchen. That's right. We have uh, seasoning, the, the sirloin seasoning that we put on the steak. What we do differently is we sear the steak before we grill it. So we put butter on a, and you can do this at home. Um, if you want to pick up some steaks and, and grill them at home, I could mm -hmm. even probably do that for you. Wow. Um, put some butter on in a black skillet, put some sirloin seasoning on there, sear it, and then put it on your grill and finish it off to the temperature you like it. Okay, you do not have to wait until Labor Day. You can enjoy this food anytime, but definitely think about making it a fun way to say goodbye to summer and hello to fall, unofficially, of course, on your Labor Day weekend. The app he's talking about, easy enough to download, and then you can call ahead or go on the app, and that way you've got your spot in line. That's right, we do call it. It's not a reservation, but it's like walking in the door, putting your name on the list from home. Gotcha. I'm going to enjoy. Thank you both so much. Julie, really good to see you. And don't forget to get those special drinks. They're called the Tennessee Nectar and the Beach Bee, and a dollar will go back to help the Bee Conservancy. That's good to see you both. Good to see you, Julie. Thank you. James, your car was pulling to the right, and you came to Budget Break seeking alignment. What